Thank you. Ladies and gentlemen, you're welcome to The Hansel Show. And before I begin today's show, I just want to say one thing. This country is fucked. <laughs> On my way to the show, I met a group of policemen outside, and one of them recognized me. And he said, you're Hansel, right? You're that guy who likes to insult our president. And I was so scared. I got so scared, I started singing the national anthem in French. <laughs> and I couldn't even sing it properly. I kept messing the whole thing up. I was like, Oh, Cameroon, burst so the nose are set, and lead us not into temptation. Amen. <laughs> the police are everywhere, and they are flogging everyone. <laughs> A couple of weeks ago, the police flogged some lawyers for protesting. Flogging lawyers. And the lawyers were furious because, according to them, the police exist to serve and protect. To serve and protect. Well, after watching the videos on how the lawyers were flogged by the police, I can honestly say those lawyers got served. <laughs> and then the police were involved in another scandal. In the University of Boya, the students were staging a peaceful protest, but the police came in and messed everything up. Just messed everything. I mean, students were being flogged left and right by the police. The police flogged some students until their GPAs increased. <laughs> GPA, yes, yeah, stands for uh, Government Police Action. <laughs> we tried to get in touch with some lawyers to see if they could help the situation. But unfortunately, most of them were still in hospital. <laughs> the police is really flogging everyone. First the lawyers, now the students. Who is next? It better be Njiatanga. <laughs> the only thing progressing in this country, honestly, moving forward in this country, is the female national team. <laughs> At least while well, everything was being rough, they progressed right up to the finals. Unfortunately, while the females in the national team were rolling on the grass, the females from the University of Boya were rolling in the mud. <laughs> and did you see how the police threw water on a student hostel? Watch. The crazy thing is, Students in that hostel have been without water for months now. For months, no water. If I were living in that hostel, it would be a different situation, a different story altogether. As soon as my roommate runs in, I'm like, Hansel, Hansel, we need to leave right now. The police are throwing water outside. I'll be like, fuck it. I'm going outside to have a bath. Well, we'll be right back after these messages. Don't you go nowhere. We'll be back with more of the Hansel Show. It's not my fault you in love with the beautiful me. My body comes on my ties. Who's got you silly? My mama Cameron born singer Mimi Bayer recently released her much anticipated music video, Beautiful Me. Based in the UK, this plus size singer slash actress spreads a message about loving oneself. A victim of prejudice, Mimi Bayer stands up and makes a bold statement for all the beautiful ladies who are yet to recognize their worth. Needless to say, we all find the singer damn sexy. Join lyrical genius and musical wizard Mike Monster on the Fiat Tour this December. Sign on the Crave Entertainment, My Monster will be performing in Kumba at Kenton Hotel on December 9th and in Boya on December 10th at Spice Nightclub. My Monster and the Theatre, y'all cannot miss out.
Thank you. You're welcome back to the Hansel Show. Now we're going to get a little serious. It's time for us to address the issues that are happening around us. As we speak, the students of University of Boya are still in pain, but the university authorities have not yet issued a statement condemning the actions of the policemen. Some of you will argue that the students are beaten off campus so it doesn't concern the school. Now, get this. If the student union could be suspended or banned for activities carried out of the school, why can students who are beaten off campus be supported? Now, this brings a bigger issue of uh, the anglophone problem, which is on everyone's lips and has turned everyone into a historian. Now, we should understand that if we don't come together as anglophones, we will never ever would do anything as a people. Because there is this underlying rift between the Northwest and the Southwest. Because when the people in Bamenda were, were striking, were having the strike action, uh, some people took upon themselves to insult the Southwest people for not joining them. Now, whether someone joins you on your strike or not, it's solely the responsibility of that person. But if we don't come together as Anglophones, because get this, before all this independence and the rest, we were just Anglophones. There was no Norway, no Southwest. It was after this independence we, that the map was being drawn. And, and the system is designed to divide and rule the people. That's the only way you can conquer any resistance. And they are succeeding. If we don't get together as Anglophones to make this, this action, this movement, a critical one, then we'll be left fighting our own, pet, our own trivial squabbles. You want to secede from the country, right? you want to gain independence. Get this, you gain independence, and then you start fighting the Northwest Southwest War, and then a few years later, you want to be independent from Northwest or from Southwest. It doesn't work like that. Yet again, we should understand that this fight is bigger than all of us. Not because we can't fight it, but because the facts have not yet been clearly labeled out. And the, and the only facts that we receive are WhatsApp facts that have been circulating throughout the internet the whole week. And there's, there's a lot of people who think the movement is not credible because the people keep ruining it. But understand that there's a difference between the movement and the people. There's a difference. Just because the people uh, derail the movement doesn't mean the movement wasn't designed to be credible. Now, the only way to match both ends is the people spearheading the movement should be the ones, should, they, they should have a credible news distribution method where they could effectively communicate their messages to the masses. Because left to everyone, we, 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 we can't we, we can't handle online communication like we just got into WhatsApp yesterday. Because the number of messages circulating on WhatsApp that have to do with propaganda is getting too much. And we as Cameroonians are so gullible that we believe and forward every single message that comes in. That makes the movement lose a lot of credibility. Now, now once again, I will never advocate for violence, well, not publicly. But I will say, until we come together as either Cameroonians or as either Anglophones, they will never achieve anything. Because as I say, strength doesn't just lie in numbers. Strength lies in the number of people who share your ideas. Well, that's just my opinion. And I encourage everyone to keep calm and give peace a chance. Well, thanks for watching the Hansel Show. See you next week. And whatever you do, 